And I'm just literally gonna put this by the window and shout out like I did back in 1990. Anyone on the one nine for a copy? As expected, nothing. <laughs> Bit of nostalgia today. This is my old bedroom. <laughs> so this is basically where I grew up as a kid and I thought this would be a fun little bit of nostalgia for you guys. This right here on this window ledge is where I used to have my CB radio. So I think it was like Christmas of 1990 or 1989, something like that. My dad bought me a handheld CB radio. It was G-San, I think, and it was a massive great thing. It had like a eight AA batteries in the back of it and that was it. As soon as I got on there and turned it on and found all these conversations happening, I was absolutely hooked on radio. So wind it forward to like 2025, we've got, you know, handheld CBs are still around. You can still buy these things. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try it and see if it still works and if we can talk to anyone. From the same place I used to do this, like how many years ago is this now? Like 35 years ago or something. So here's the radio. I've got a couple of aerials with me. This one's like a, the one that comes with it. And this one was, is kind of similar to what was on my old original um, G-SAM, but it was actually like fixed to the radio. So just the top of it poked out. You could pull this thing out. It was absolutely huge. So I'm going to try this rubber ducky antenna first. Okay, so that's on there. Let's turn this radio on. And that's the volume control as well. So we got, so this is channel 30. God, this, this brings back memories already. Channel 30, there used to be a lady in, in Hartford where I now live. Not exactly where I live, but I could hear her for miles. Don't know if anyone remembers from the area. She was called Kiwi. That was her handle. Anyway, let's go to channel 19 on here. And I'm just literally going to put this by the window and shout out like I did back in 1990. Anyone on the one nine for a copy? As expected, nothing. <laughs> Anyone copy on the one nine? Anyone copy on the one nine? All right, I believe it's UK. <laughs> Hello, mate. Um, go again, I'll give you a little signal report. So we have got someone, but I feel like I'm not getting back to him. Yeah, copy, copy that breaker. Maybe I should open this window and just see if I can poke the area out the window. Oh. Yeah, copy, copy. Maybe I should try the other antenna. All right, got the big bad boy on now. Yeah, anyone copy on this one nine? Anyone copy on this one nine? It's weird, I can hear, I can hear someone on here. Yeah, anyone copy on this one nine? Right, let's try it outside, see if it's any better out here. Is anyone copy on this one nine? Anyone copy on this one nine? Right, actually, I've found someone. I think they're on, on the, think they're on the uh, EU. Yeah, on the side, on the side of the 19. Is that a channel? This is EU, isn't it? Yeah, we just figured that out. Yeah, I'm, I'm calling on UK. <laughs> Well, that's working. I'm just standing in the garden at the minute. What, in Hartford or Ardiston? Oh, you'd be lucky from Hartford, wouldn't you? Sorry, what was that? You'd be lucky if I was in Hartford. Well, yeah, your signal's not that brilliant. Well, no, it's a handheld. Uh. Not bad, hang on a minute. I'm just going to go upstairs, see if it's any better up there. Right, I'm upstairs now. Yeah, I'm upstairs now. Copy mark, copy mark. Yeah, yeah, it's about the same. Okay, alright. But Mark can't hear me, hear me now. Uh, it's definitely something up with that radio he's got, because it just doesn't seem to receive anything. 
It's weird, isn't it? I can hear him. Yeah, he gets out, no problem. No problem at all, but, um, yeah, I don't know what he is. Um, I don't know if there's a problem with it. Yeah, it's strange, isn't it? All right, I'm just going to swap back to the rubber duck, see if, see if that works. Yeah, all right, then. Right, he's still got me. I'm on the rubber duck now. <laughs> That's kind of to be expected, I suppose, isn't it? So it seems like outside is a lot better performance. Um, probably just because, you know, it's so out in the open air, isn't it? So these guys are probably about, I don't know, only a mile away, something like that. Right, guys, can you hear me now? That's not bad, is it? What um what antenna are you using, Cole? Twins, do you want to try going to channel one and see if I can hear Andy from there? No, I don't know if it'll make much difference really, if I'm honest. Um I'm using a ham stick, Andy. Oh, uh, okay. What outside is it or just inside? Uh, it's on top of my car. Oh nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well you got a good ground plane, haven't you? No. So he's using a ham stick. Yeah, I know, there isn't really much activity at all, is there? Like, I mean, you can hear distant st stations probably just running silly power, but other than that, there's not really anything local. But it shows that local does work if, if there's people about. Yeah, I mean, we, when I was on here the other night, uh, there's a guy in Arlo. I was getting him no problem, really. Um, but the funny thing is, he could hear Mark, but Mark couldn't hear him. I don't know. Well, it's a dipole, isn't it, he's using? Maybe the old magman on a biscuit tin would be uh, a good try. Yeah. All right, go ahead then, Mark. See if he can hear you. Testing, testing, testicles, testicles, <laughs> testing, testing. Uh... Yeah, I'm getting him at a solid five. His signal's a little bit lower than you, Cole, but he's um, as clear. This is sounding really good now, this, this radio. Very clear. It's got noise reduction as well, this, so you can kind of reduce noise. Listen to that. Yeah, yeah, I'm just listening on the side. It looks like his power bank's died. Right, catch you, um, catch you later, mate. Enjoy the dump. Right, so you might have clocked. That wasn't a complete coincidence that I managed to bump into two people that I know on CB. Basically, what we did is we used MeshCore which is a off-grid lower messaging system, which you can run on these, these T-decks here, to actually organise this little CB net. So there was no internet used at all to arrange that little rendezvous. we just done it purely over radio. So you can see here, earlier this morning, I was asking Mark if he was working from home and if Colin was around as well. And um, they both come back saying, yep, they are. And um, I was saying, yeah, CB at the ready in about an hour. So, yeah, that's how we did it. And whilst we were trying to actually kind of make contact, we were actually chatting um, on here as well, just to, to say that I, I was saying I'm on Channel 19. And, yeah, basically, they were sort of saying the frequencies and stuff. So that, that's why there was a bit of confusion with the frequencies. But we obviously worked it out by using... Um, you know, by sending messages on mesh call. So like in that particular test, it did actually work pretty well. But I remember like back in the day, like it was it was a nightmare. You could probably only talk to people unless they were kind of you know, about a mile or two max, um, you know, with that sort of setup with like an antenna on the back of the, the radio um, and that. But, you know, with mesh core and like mesh-tastic, like the mesh-based radio system that you use lower, they just work so much better. I mean, this is just a tiny little radio with a tiny little antenna in. And it's managing to sort of make that same trip that is obviously requiring big antennas. Okay, look, we are using repeaters to do that, which are just located at 
um, yeah, the other people's houses. But in this particular case, there's no repeater here in this house. I'm literally using this little radio from down here in the living room, and it's going all the way, you know, to Mark and Colin, and they're receiving the messages just from this tiny little device. You haven't got to have that big telescopic aerial. You haven't got to go outside. And the reason for that is because these use a technology called LOA, which stands for long range. And this is a way of sending signals just so much further than you ever could um, before this existed. And the main reason for that is because they can operate way below the noise floor. So what this basically means is the signals from these little guys are just going to go so much further than CB radio ever did. And that is why it's really exciting. And that's why, you know, we're messing around with this stuff right now. I guess this stuff is kind of 50% nostalgia and 50% preparing, you know, if the grid ever went down, having an alternative off-grid um, messaging solution. <laughs> Anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Let me know about your CB nostalgia stories in the comments. I'm sure there's loads of people in my sort of age group that were active on CB. And who knows, maybe there's CB users in your area and you might actually be able to have some fun again with that if you wanted to. Other than that, if you want to know more about MeshCore, check out meshcore.co.uk. There's loads of information on there, how it works, how you can get started. It's pretty cheap. The hardware, you can just buy a, you know, little development boards on Amazon and get going straight away. And it really is. There's a lot of old CB people on there that are playing around with this so it's kind of cool anyway guys that's it for this one catch you next time